Welcome back. This one now we're going to discuss is the Grizzly Bear Lodge. Okay, and uh, on the Grizzly Bear Lodge again, um, this is bring it up. It's on page 559 of the textbook. Now we got a case study. Now always remember we got four questions we're going to ask ourselves when we read it. These should be coming to our mind automatically. What worked? What mistakes are they making? What didn't work? What would you suggest they do? And what would you suggest they not do? Okay, so it's a case study. Those four questions automatically come to our mind. Okay, now the next question, particular for this one again, what are the important facts? Because there's going to be different questions we're going to ask. So what facts are going to be important for each question? Okay, so as you read it, you say to yourself, oh, that's an important fact. Not every fact is. Let me remember that. So take a few seconds, stop the video now, read the uh, case study, and uh, we'll come back and we'll have a discussion. Welcome back. Let's get to the next slide. Four big questions to ask. What's working? What isn't working? What should we do? Should we not do? Well, what's, what are they doing good? What, what's working? Seems their business is growing. Um, they, they're going to expand their business in a way that's uh, working out well. Uh, what mistakes are they making? Well, they've got some money coming in. They've got some staff. And it doesn't look like um, they have a plan. They hope to do things, but they don't have a plan. So that could be a problem. What should they do? Well, get a plan, right? Before you do anything, figure out where you're going. What should they stop doing? Probably stop doing anything until they get a plan, right? Notice the theme here. Always going to have a plan, got to be organized. Don't do anything until you do that. That's the big four question. Controls, because controls are that idea of constantly looking at the situation, benchmarking it, figuring out what's working, stopping, modifying, and moving on. That's that. Now, different questions, though. Different facts, different controls, different facts to consider. Let's take the first one, financial. Well, if you look at the financial aspect, then you're going to look at what um, that they have 20 rooms. Their annual sales is $300,000. They got expenses, so if they scale up, these expenses are going to change. They may not be in direct relation to scaling. You don't know, but that's going to be an issue that you're going to bring up because it's financial. How about the market? What does the market need? What's the potential market share? You know what? You look at this and you say they, they have skiing, snowmobiles, and all this, but it doesn't look like they've collected that information. That'd be a should do, right? So you'd say this is where they're at, this is what they're doing, but maybe they should do some more market examination before they go any further. Quality control. Now, it said in here that, um, that if a guest needs something, then they make sure that they uh, get it. In other words, they need breakfast special diet or extra set of towels. The workers are empowered to do it. So they have very high quality control because they want a very positive customer experience. How is that going to change? Okay? What facts, what's their present situation, what are they aiming for? So again, if you were to look at this case, it's a very simple case, right? but each question makes it so you have to draw different facts out of it. Financial, obviously, you bring financial factors, marketing factors, quality factors. Okay? Again, thematically, it sounds redundant. But always remember that. It's not every fact is pertinent to the question presented. And that's why, yes, you've got it. The issue that you're going to discuss is the most important thing to determine first. Okay? So that's this case study. Let's move on to the next one and see what we can get out of that. 